let's discuss about the concept of income elasticity of demand so income elasticity of demand now just like before we had the elasticity of demand depending on price now it depends on income it's still an elasticity so we're still talking about percentage changes now the question is what kind of percentage change so let's call it elasticity of income uh, let's say it's like that elasticity of income let's call income by m coming from the word of money so what does that mean that means the percentage change in quantity demanded relative to the percentage change in income meaning if we have more income how much are we gonna change our demand so for instance that would look like the change in quantity demanded over the initial quantity demanded divided by the change in income relative to the initial income just like before let's group the terms with the change together so that would be the change in quantity demanded divided by the quantity demanded if we divide by this thing we multiply with the inverse so times m divided by the change in m let's group together this two so this two go together and this two go together let's make some space let me zoom out so here go to the right go down so that would be equal to the change in quantity demanded divided by the change in income times m divided by quantity demanded okay how do we interpret this well we interpret this is if income increases by one percent by one percent how does quantity demanded change sorry why am i putting this thing like that uh, actually you know why i'm gonna put both I'm going to put both and we're going to discuss why quantity demanded can change in both direction. So, but we're going to discuss this in the next video. Have a look again at the formula, make sure it makes sense. And in the next video, we'll see why quantity demanded can change down, can decrease, even though we have more money to spend. We are done.